Hello everyone, it's Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law. The DiscGolf Pro Tour has joined forces with a company called US Integrity to usher professional disc golf into the world of regulated sports wagering. Let's delve into this partnership and the history of gambling in the United States and the potential impact of this news on the disc golf industry. U.S. Integrity, known for its integrity monitoring across sports, will now consult with and monitor the Disc Golf Pro Tour. As sport books integrate DGPT events, U.S. Integrity will provide vital data intelligence ensuring fair play. This partnership signifies a new era for disc golf, where fans can engage with the sport through responsible wagering backed by U.S. Integrity's fraud prevention expertise. So how did we get here? Let's do a quick look back to the history of gambling in the U.S., particularly online gambling. Gambling includes three elements, consideration, prize, and chance. You're gambling if you risk something of value on the outcome of a game or a contest whose result is determined by chance with the hope of winning a prize or some other sort of benefit. Now, there are legitimate arguments to be made that certain types of activities like poker and sports betting don't fall within the legal definition of gambling, but for the sake of this discussion, we're going to assume that they do. Online gambling first emerged in the 1990s, which presented a challenge for regulators and law enforcement. Existing state and federal laws weren't designed to apply to players around the world gambling over a worldwide computer network. Then came the poker boom of the early 2000s, which transformed online gambling. Sites like PokerStars and Party Poker drew players worldwide. The years between 2000 and 2010 are widely regarded as the golden age of online gambling. The US government considered online gambling illegal, but did very little in terms of enforcement action against gambling sites and took virtually no legal action against players. Accordingly, trustworthy, reliable, entertaining online gambling platforms, almost all of which were located outside the US in more gambling-friendly jurisdictions, thrived during this time. Players would routinely deposit and withdraw money from these types of sites without issue, typically by using intermediary payment wallets like NetTeller, for example. This era also saw the establishment of external regulatory bodies, such as the Kanawake Gaming Commission, which regulated online gaming activity from the Mohawk territory of Kanawake and issued gaming licenses to many of the world's online casinos and poker rooms. On June 1st, 2010, the Unlawful Internet Gaming Enforcement Act took effect. This was a new federal law. It did not specifically prohibit American players from gambling online, but the act did outlaw businesses from transferring funds to and from gambling sites. Shortly after this law took effect, we didn't really see much change in the global online gambling landscape. That brings us to April 15th. 2011, a date better known as Black Friday. Legal actions against major poker companies rocked the industry. Not only were these sites charged with violating the Unlawful Internet Gaming Enforcement Act, but additional charges of bank fraud, money laundering, and illegal gambling helped clarify the gravity of the situation, as did restraining orders against 
five bank accounts used by these sites and the seizure of five related domain names. One of the top online gambling sites at the time was Full Tilt Poker. Investigations into Full Tilt's operations revealed issues with player funds, leading to allegations of a Ponzi scheme type operation. These unfortunate developments with Full Tilt Poker illustrate why it is so important there are trustworthy oversight bodies watching out for player fairness in online gambling. Fast forward to today. Here in the United States, we have six states that offer legal online casino gambling. Almost every state has a legal lottery and many have legalized sports gambling in various forms. Offshore casinos still continue to thrive, operating outside U.S. jurisdiction, but still welcoming U.S. players. Now, turning back to disc golf, in 2023, a site called Prize Picks offered a glimpse into disc golf wagering, utilizing a unique fantasy approach. Players would predict player scores with a parlay system, even in states where traditional sports wagering was restricted. This didn't last very long, however, because Prize Picks stopped offering disc golf wagers after it got cleaned out during a bad weather round at the 2023 Music City Open. The confusing, messy, legal history of gambling in the U.S. explains why the Disc Golf Pro Tour has chosen to align itself with U.S. Integrity. U.S. Integrity's recent cases highlight their vigilance in sports monitoring. Their recent merger with Odds on Compliance, a consultancy firm specializing in gambling regulatory compliance, strengthens their position, ensuring fair play and preventing betting-related corruption. As Disc Golf steps into the world of regulated wagering, it's crucial to learn from history. U.S. Integrity's partnership with the DGPT paves the way for a fair and exciting future. We'll continue to monitor the intersection of disc golf and the evolving laws and regulations and responsible wagering. Please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and as always, thanks for watching.